Hi everyone, I'm Karen. I'm presenting this paper on behalf of my colleagues Rob Conger, Jakob Tolander, and Matthias Jakobson. In this paper, we introduce digital environmental stewardship as a framework to understand, design, and evaluate socio-technical interventions concerned with more sustainable waste management practices. Local environmental stewardship is defined as the variety of actions taken to protect or responsibly use the environment, and it includes both environmental and social impact within diverse socio-ecological contexts. We draw on Bennett and colleagues' framework of stewardship, which is articulated along three main dimensions. First, stewardship actions can be taken by a variety of actors, from public agencies and NGOs to individual citizens and grassroots communities. Each of these actors can have different capacities, from social assets to local knowledge and expertise, and from economic resources to physical infrastructures and local regulations. And finally, different actors might have different motivations to engage in environmental care. Our work expands understanding of these concepts by more directly focusing on the active role of digital technology where previous scholarship within Sustainable HCI has been criticized for simplifying sustainable actions by simply focusing on individual behaviors, cognition, or the persuasive role of technologies. Digital environmental stewardship provides a lens to attend to the constituent parts of local sustainable actions while emphasizing the interactions within them and with broader uh, socio-ecological contexts. We examine three cases of waste stewardship and the work of technologies in supporting and shaping them. The first one is PLOGA, a social movement blending jogging with litter picking activities, which are generally carried out in groups in urban areas or forest trails. The movement uses social media to advertise events, but not any platform to organize them. Plovi shows a set of volunteer-run, loosely structured stewardship actions that frame litter picking as a collective, recreational, exercising activity. Literati is a data-centered digital platform that supports the crowdsourced documentation of litter collection. Here, people can take pictures of the waste items they pick up, geotag, and label them to specify the type of litter that has been collected, for instance, whether it is a glass bottle or a tin can. And we call these practices uh, itemization of waste. The data is added to a central repository, which is accessible online and where information about waste in specific localities can be compiled and displayed through dashboards and graphs. We draw in this case to illustrate the role of digital platforms and waste data in structuring actions and collaborations to collect litter and, to, uh, fol and for follow-up interventions to address uh, waste problems. The last case is embedded in the way multi-apartment buildings are run in Sweden. The case shows the work of a housing community association, San Felix Frening, in the original language, in managing four recycling rooms for five different condominium associations, which are instead called Bustasselsforening. As San Filiets Verening manages, uh, manages areas shared among households, while a Bustadsrets Verening is an economic association of residents through tenant ownership of apartments. The case outlines the middle level work of this organization, where interactions with residents and formal actors intersect, for instance, in the form of contracts with waste operators or information needed for proper recycling. The association uses a Facebook group, which is mostly used to share waste-related complaints. A main finding in this context is the clear distinction of roles between users of the recycling rooms, the residents, and managers of the rooms, the association, and that these roles are difficult to reconfigure. Different from uh, the other cases, waste here seems to be someone else's problem to deal with. So with its relational perspective towards action, digital environmental stewardship helps identify possible causes of inaction beyond behavioral motivations. We suggest that considering gaps in the relationships between actors, their motivations and available capacities can help understand what enables or hinders specific waste stewardship actions. In the San Felihetsferening, some people seem not to care about wrongly disposing of waste. 
through the framework, this aspect can be understood in terms of actors lacking capacities to act or failing to understand what different resources, roles and responsibilities are at stake. So, for instance, most residents are unaware of the extra economic costs involved in wrongly discarding bulky items or of the alternative physical infrastructures that could be used for proper recycling, for instance, mobile recycling trucks. In Literati, the creation and curation of waste data through the app and the online dashboards open up to further stewardship interventions, as waste data can become capital to be used as educational material or to enforce stricter policies against companies contributing to urban pollution. This means that outcomes of stewardship actions can circulate and become capacities for other actions. We suggest that environmental stewardship actions can be framed as additive, interconnected and transformative. And we introduce the notion of folding actions to account for these and frame socio-technical exploration, explorations through question through questions of what else and what next. We can move on to the next step because we have done something already. And this is also a commitment to understand the impact of environmental interventions in the long term beyond discrete technological interventions and beyond narrow views of behavioral change. The framework of digital environmental stewardship outlines configuration of digital and non-digital interactions that are inherently political. In literacy, the itemization of waste highlights waste problems and can become a means for legal interventions. We, however, recognize the problem this might create and call for investigations of whether this datification of environmental concerns may produce techno-deterministic narratives on the role of software, of uh, software and data. And finally, the role of the digital connects to tensions between the local relevance of stewardship actions and issues of scale and impact. In the Plogger case, social media are used to promote the appropriation of this form of waste stewardship, but without replicating digital templates for participating. In contrast with literati, Concrete actions to pick up litter are locally bound, but the development of environmental stewardship is tied to scaling up data from individual actions to aggregated data sets and through shifting responsibilities from individuals to organizations. Yet questions remain on the universal relevance of waste data, for instance, how we can mobilize actions beyond specific localities. Digital environmental stewardship questions ideals of digital platforms universalism by drawing attention to the local relationships between stewards, the social worlds they act in, and where waste is in that world. So, as always, there's much more in the paper, so I invite you all to read it, and thank you very much for your attention.